Okay, Mr. Taffy, <clears throat> you're saying it's semantics. It's all just parsing of words. But to me, as a trained lawyer, as a prosecutor, there is a big difference in self-defense when you claim somebody ambushed you out from behind bushes and when you see them coming at 15 feet away. That is inconsistent. Those are two different stories. That is my concern. There's no concern. His injuries are consistent with self-defense. I want to go back to one minor thing. You got to realize when Detective Serino wanted to charge George Zimmerman with manslaughter, that it was overturned by the state attorney, Norm Wolfinger. There was no probable cause at that level. And there uh, was no... Mr. Uh, Taffy, may I ask you a question? Yeah. Does Officer sure. Serino have a law degree? No, but he's a Has he ever presented cases to a grand jury? No, but I'm sure Norm Wolfinger now, did in his I 27 years. I have all the respect for police officers, all, but I do not want a police officer telling me the law, just as I would not tell them how to go they would make a throw-down arrest, all right? <clears throat> so I appreciate what Serino had to say, but that is up to a grand jury and that is up to the mm -hmm. district attorney's office or, or the when did that prosecutor. When did that grand jury convene after that uh, Angela Mr. Corey Taffy, was assigned there are, to it? You know, I, I advise you, sir, do you know, not tangle with me on the law because there well, are many ways for a let's, legal let's charge to come down. Hey, a legal charge can come down by a preliminary lines. hearing, I'm fairly by a grand intelligent jury, enough to understand by an independent counsel. Angela come. Corey was special counsel and it was only after that that this charging affidavit, mm. which was bogus, and their own <coughs> investigator went on the stand last April yeah, and wrap was it up, asked wrap it up. under direct questioning from Mark O'Mara, who was the aggressor? And he went, we don't know. Me, no, no. We don't know. He said okay, that. Okay. Now, I understand how you don't want to address my question to you. Know. So I'm going to throw this to Mr. Parks. I just addressed Mr. It. Parks. I find it to be a, a huge difference in stories. And, and last night I said I hadn't heard any the inconsistencies. Everybody's screaming about Zimmerman is telling all these lies and inconsistencies. I didn't hear it last night. I did not hear it in the courtroom yesterday. I'm hearing it right now because there is a hell of a difference between saying Trayvon Martin jumped out from me from behind bushes and ambushed me and I saw him walking at me 15 feet away. <coughs> Parks, weigh in. Yeah, yeah. without question, Nancy, I think that you have to remember what George Zimmerman should have done was tell Trayvon who he was. Trayvon didn't know who he was, so he was asking him, who, you know, what's going on? And so George Zimmerman, never said instead what's going of saying on. who he was, but, but then, I know he didn't say what's going on, but, he, but in an altercation, though, Gay? Kathy. What's going so, on? But, but, what's going but the, on? The, the, the problem, though, he say what's is going he on. goes in his pocket, and what Trayvon does Gay not song? know why what's he's going, going in his pocket. Hey, Taffy, What's be respectful, going buddy. on? What's going on? Go ahead. <laughs> okay, all right. You know but what, let me gentlemen? Say this here. So he, so he, please, please take so your he, faces down. I appreciate the argument, and I appreciate the jokes, but this is not the appropriate time for any laughter or levity. If what we are hearing today, Trayvon Martin, high school junior, my son is going to be a high school junior in just a few years, was gunned down, and Zimmerman, big self-defense, all he needed was a Band-Aid. We'll be right back. We're going